In this video, we're going to be showing you 20 insane aim tips for controller and keyboard and mouse. And to make things even more interesting, we're going to throw in some secret tips that almost nobody knows this season. So make sure you watch this entire video if you want to become an aiming legend. If you're trying to improve your aim, developing muscle memory through aim training repetition is one of the most common suggestions. However, did you also know you need to factor in recoil? Because it takes a bit of practice and getting used to it, if you want to use certain weapons in the current meta, such as the god tier MK7 or the combat SMG. So make a habit of nudging your mouse down as you fire or pulling your stick back on the controller when using these. Two, most players will automatically aim for the head during every encounter. But here this tip first. Landing that headshot with the first shot accuracy can be devastating for your opponent and give you a lead in a fight. However, if you want to beam your opponent, we suggest aiming for the upper body. This way, the recoil should give you more chances of landing the headshot without going above your opponent's head and leaving gaps between your bullet stream where the ammo just goes to waste. Three, if you're not used to managing recoil, we suggest aiming for the chest or lower body. As long as your crosshairs are still over your opponent, even with the recoil, most of your shots still land. This way you can focus on training your ability to control your own recoil on live opponents. One great way to do this is with aim duels, because it's all about keeping an unbroken line of fire on your opponent. We'll leave the map code down in the description for you so you can practice later. Four, try to avoid making a habit of beaming in every single situation. Tap firing is also a valid option that can help you manage your crosshairs as they expand and ensure that you get more accuracy in the long run. Before we share the secrets to crosshair placement, you're gonna wanna see this. Click on the link in the description below to see our incredible aim guide that'll help you flick, track, and eliminate your opponents faster than ever before. Learn the secret methods pros use to get cracked aim and dominate in cash cups and other top tier events. Yeah. Now, what you've all all been waiting for. Five, your crosshair placement is one of the most important skills to learn if you're gonna wanna improve your editing prowess, especially if you're on controller. Crosshair placement will determine if you can make an edit fast enough or get your crosshairs on your opponent as soon as they appear within your vicinity and start firing. Six, crosshair placement is all about awareness and staying vigilant during movement. You don't wanna be moving your crosshair around left and right trying to land a hit on an enemy. Here's an example of good and bad crosshair placement. See the difference? Even when you're moving around, your crosshair is always pointing at your opponent and you don't break away or lose sight of them. Now let's take a look at this same concept with editing. See how the stability makes it so much easier to edit while staying on the move? Seven, if you're on keyboard and mouse, you can take advantage of aim training and editing maps on creative such as Raiders aim training maps, Raiders mechanics maps, or third party trainers such as aim labs to train your crosshair placement in a variety of different scenarios that require it. We'll leave the map codes in the description. Eight, if you're on Battle Royale, players use the audio visual settings to let them know where nearby opponents are. This is a great way of finding out where opponents are. There's a bit more to it than just that. Nine, if you're in a building with multiple floors, just being able to see the footsteps is enough to tell you where your crosshair should be in case your opponent decides to drop in from above or to try to catch you by surprise. This same tactic can be used during the late game when you have to worry about layers and players above and below you. 10. Anyone going pro should also learn the difference between ADS and hip fire. Aiming down sights helps with accuracy and hip fire is meant for quick responses. Don't aim down the sights in a close quarters fight unless you're attempting to choke your shotgun pellets during a peak shot. ADSing with the shotgun is a great way to close the spread of pellets so there's more chances that you'll do yeah. max damage. 11. Use hip fire during those in your face fights. You won't have the precision but you will have the movement necessary to deal damage, get your cross on your opponents quickly and dodge bullets. 12. Use these run and gun tactics to wear down walls and keep your enemies guessing which one you plan to take. Later, we'll show you a few tricks you can use to fool your opponents. 13. If you're trying to hit precise shots from a foreign controller, here are two tips that'll improve your precision. First off, don't move your right stick if you're trying to ADS with first shot accuracy on a target that's too far away. On controller, it's easy to ADS too fast and miss your target, which is why you should practice left stick aiming. This is when you move your character with the left stick to line up your shots. This will help you carefully adjust your aim. 14. If you want to be a real pro, there's another method that you can use that requires a bit of patience. You can predict your opponent's movements and aim where they're going to be and then let them line up to your sights so you can just get the elim up your score and win more matches. 
15. One of the most important gameplay rules you need to know about is that Fortnite is all about movement. You need to take advantage of your peaks before your opponent does. You need to reach high ground first, and you need to be capable of outrunning the storm, especially during the end game. 16. With so much movement, it's no wonder some of you try to use aim assist on controller to help you. Before you try that, you should know that it varies wildly between platforms and control schemes. For example, some weapons have better aim assist than others. Meanwhile, on on PC, aim assist is heavily nerfed and you'll barely feel it. So if you want to choose controller for the aim assist, mm. keep that in mind. 17. If you're having trouble deciding between linear and exponential, this tip will help you out. Linear is an automatic response to your controls, while exponential requires a bit of ramping up before your aim reaches full speed. Most of the time, you're going to want to use linear. However, there have been players out there who do prefer exponential, especially those that use keyboard and mouse. Next, we have some tricks, but before we move on, don't forget to check out our advanced aim guide in the description. 18. Resetting your walls is a great way to trick opponents into wasting their shots. Like we mentioned earlier, sometimes the deciding factor in a fight comes down to who landed their shotgun shot first. So, go in like you're about to make an edit. Your opponent will attempt to pre-fire on you, but instead, just reset the edit. Let them hit the wall, then you're free to make your true edit and blast them. 19. Right now, every loadout needs a rocket range. You use it for movement and build destruction. However, it's not always powerful enough to one-hit kill an opponent and can leave you vulnerable for a few moments after landing. Here's how you can avoid that. When you land with a rocket ram, swap to your weapon instantly. If you do this, you could skip over those vulnerable moments and instead instantly be ready to land some hits before your opponent can box up again. This is a great way to apply pressure, so we hope your aim is good. 20. Now check out this interesting recoil technique. If you have an unbound key and you set it to reset camera, you can spam that while firing to lower your recoil. Bet you didn't know that. With these tips, you'll get god tier aiming skills and develop techniques that'll shut down your opponents fast. So good luck training, and we'll see you next time.